All right, it's recording. All right, hi, I'm Gordon Jennings with Advanced Barcode Systems, barcoders.com. I want to make this video as a preliminary for Android uh, scanners. No matter what model you buy from us or get, you'll need to do a few things when you first get it. Um, number one is you'll need to set up the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi is um, we want you to have your own network. We don't want you to use the barcoders one anymore. Well, we mentioned that it was the barcoder three had been compromised uh, sometime last year, and so we won't, we encourage you to go to a local company to get your access points and have them set it up and get it working, as long as it can connect to the RF server. Um, so when you get the device, this is the MC thirty two N zero. We also have the MC forty N zero, and then there's other devices. Regardless of which device you get, the Wi-Fi configuration is very similar. And so I have, I have a, a TC52 here, and the TC52, um, I can actually screencast that onto the, onto the screen here. So I'm going to screencast it, and now you can actually see the screen here as, as if, it's, um, as if you're, it's right in front of you. So this is what's on here. So normally what you do when you turn the machine on is you swipe up and you get to the desktop. And on the desktop will be an icon that says uh, RF Warehouse. That's our, our application. But this is the, the, the typical Android setup configuration, this gear icon. So what you do is you click on that gear icon and uh, immediately when it comes up that you'll see a network, an internet, or something similar to that on these devices. These have an older version of Android 5.1.1. This one has a newer version. Um, so when you come down here, I can look at it, and, it, and this one has Android uh, 10 on it. So this is a newer one, but you come down here and you hit Network, and what it'll do is it'll go out, and you see Wi-Fi, you hit Wi-Fi, and it will go out and look at all the different networks that are available. Barcoders 5 is our new one. That's the highly encrypted one that's secure. Um, we offer that to some of our customers. If you still need uh, Wi-Fi, you can, you can contact us and we still sell those. But these other ones are networks that we have in the environment that, that barcoders didn't provide. And you should have one too that, that barcodes didn't provide. So you just, you just click on that, the one that you want, and then you enter, you enter the, uh, it'll ask you for the encryption key, like if I go to this one, Alpha Centuri, it will ask me for the password. And so I type in the password, and then once I once I uh, save it, then it will it will be in there, and it will come up. It'll it'll be me memorized in the device, and it will come up. And up in the right hand corner, you should get this little fan shape right here. It will tell you it, when it's full solid. It tells you that you're on the network and you're you're now connected. So that's the first step. The next step is our application will be right here. And what happens is when you um, when you click on it, it will it will try to go to. You briefly you saw the IP address of the RF server. That should be the IP address of your RF RF server. Here it, it connected very quickly because it saw it, it's on the network and it saw it and connected and brought up the menu. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back. I'm going to exit this. If it doesn't see it, you'll, it'll pause on this screen and say, air connecting, hit enter to continue. If, when you're at this screen, you can, long, you can long press, and it'll bring this up, and then you can go into to settings, and you'll notice right here that these are some of the settings that we allow you to do. Now there's an Android connector IP in our new version, and it's, you can tap on that, and you can enter manually the IP address of your scanner, I'm sorry, of your RF server, and then it will, and then you click OK, and it will then, it will then know it and, and memorize it, and then from then on, whenever you go into this application, it should be able to hit it right away. Um, so those are the two things that you really need to get go to get going with with our with our Android scanners, no matter what model you get or what version of Android you're using.